For months now, the internet has been buzzing with rumors of massive ammo buys by the U.S. government. Now some members of Congress have taken notice and have begun holding hearings about just how much ammo is being bought and for what purpose. Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, this is a story that's been reported extensively by media since last fall, including making some comedy rounds. 1.6 billion rounds? What are they trying to do? Film a Quentin Tarantino movie? <laughs> Reports of the federal government through multiple agencies, including the Department of Homeland Security, is buying up over a billion and a half rounds of ammo in five years. Homeland Security over the past year has purchased over 450 million rounds of hollow point bullets. That according to ATK Security and Sporting. It's a company out of Minnesota who produced and sold that ammo. For Homeland Security, that's in addition to requesting 750 million rounds of assorted bullets. That request was later modified to 350 million over five years. So how much ammo are we talking about? The Associated Press reports that the Department of Homeland Security is looking to purchase 1.6 billion rounds of ammo in the next five years. Alternative media sites like Infowars and IntelliHub claim that these massive purchases are in preparation for an economic collapse. But Peggy Dixon with the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Georgia tells the AP that's not the case. Rather, the ammo is being purchased as part of strategic sourcing contracts. In short, buying ammo in bulk in order to lower the price. All of it has been enough to get the attention of the House Oversight Committee and the GAO, or the Government Accountability Office. A congressional hearing on the issue was held last week, chaired by Utah Republican Jason Chaffetz, who revealed this. That with 70,000 agents, DHS is churning through between 1,300 and 1,600 rounds per officer. The U.S. Army goes through roughly 350 rounds per soldier. That means DHS is using, quote, roughly 1,000 rounds more per person than the U.S. Army. Well, what that means for you is that there's no evidence that DHS is purchasing this ammo for any sinister reason. But Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan explained it in a committee hearing like this. This is not about conspiracy theories. This is about good government. Well, Friday, a bill was introduced to Congress called the Ammo Act. It would require the GAO to issue a report on ammo acquisition by all federal agencies and how it affects the supply of bullets to the public. It also means that all federal agencies would be barred from buying any more ammo for six months if its current stockpile was higher than monthly averages reported prior to the Obama administration. Right now, DHS has a two-year supply of bullets on hand, but Dr. Nick Nyack, a chief procurement officer for DHS, says the agency has saved significant money through that purchase and that the vast majority of that ammo is used for training. The National Shooting Sports Foundation estimates the total annual domestic production of ammunition is roughly 10 to 12 billion rounds, and DHS annual purchases equate to 1 percent of that production. But as Republican Congressman John Micah of Florida points out, in this day and age, if the real intent is to save taxpayer money, then why is live ammo being used for training instead of simulation? Your folks aren't in a day-to-day -day combat situation like our military, so don't sit there and tell me that you cannot uh, use this uh, to a greater extent and save taxpayer money. We'll keep you updated on the Ammo Act. And that is Reality Check. You can find the sources for the story posted on our website at fox19.com. And if you'd like to make your voice heard, you can head over to Ben's Facebook page with all the other almost 100,000 people. You just search Ben Swan.